Welcome to Salesforce Training. In this demonstration, we're going to learn about sales calls on both desktop and mobile. A sales call is a planned activity at a specific date and time. You can access a list of sales calls on the Sales Call tab from the Navigation menu. You can filter your sales calls using the list views provided. To view an existing sales call, simply click on the Sales Call link. Sales Call Record Highlights panel shows the account associated with the sales call. The action buttons allow you to follow the record, change the record type, add a new note, and edit the sales call. The body of the sales call will show the details and related sub-tabs and the activity and chatter tabs in the right column. The details tab shows the subject, type, start and end time, and pre-call notes. The related to section lets you capture the account, contact, opportunity, or lead record that the sales call is related to so that you never lose your history. The system section shows the type of call, status, and owner information. The related tab provides access to notes or files associated with this sales call. You can add additional tasks to the planned sales call in the activity tab so you won't forget critical activities related to the sales call and see next steps and prior activities in the activity timeline. This sales call record will also show up on the activity timeline of all the related records so you never have to search multiple systems to see what work you've already done. The chatter tab allows you to collaborate across the organization. If you add a note to a sales call, you can associate it to any other related record, like the opportunity, contact, or account, if you want the same note to show up on those records and avoid entering the same information multiple times. Let's update a planned sales call to a held call. Click the planned sales call and click change record type from the action buttons. Held sales call is the default selection. Add the post call notes and the call outcome. Scroll down the page and enter the next step subject line. Select the communication type and the call type from the drop down menus. When you select the event start date and times, make sure you fill out the form completely. Once you have scheduled the sales call, enter your next step pre call notes, then click save. If you miss any information, you will receive an error message and the incorrect fields will be highlighted in red. Correct your errors and then click save again. A quick note to remind you that sales calls will populate on your event calendar within Salesforce and on your iNotes calendar. Let's take a look at how to access sales calls on your mobile device. Tap the menu icon on the upper left hand corner, scroll down and tap the sales call icon. From the sales call homepage, you can search for sales calls, create a new sales call, or select one of your recently viewed sales calls. Tap a sales call to view the details of the sales call record. The action buttons on the bottom of the screen let you change record type, create a new task, add a new note, edit the sales call, add a training session, post a chatter, upload a file, or create a poll. Click Edit to make any changes to the sales call and tap Save. The Feed tab will show the chatter history. The Related tab will show open activities, activity history, training sessions, attach notes. To create a sales call from the mobile app, tap the sales call related list, then tap New. Add relevant details to set up the sales call and then tap save. Enter a meaningful subject, the communication type, the call type. You must enter the start date and time as well as the expected end date and time. Enter in your pre-call notes and you can associate this sales call activity to an account, a contact, an opportunity, a lead, or any combination of those records. Once that is complete, tap save. After you hold your sales call, it's time to change the record type from planned to held. Tap the sales call and then tap change record type button. You'll need to enter all the relevant information and then click save. But don't worry, if you forget to update a field or enter the wrong type of information, you'll get an error message so you can correct your data entry and then you can save. Your notes will be stored in the sales call details and you can access this sales call record from any of the associated leads, accounts, contacts, or opportunities. Go to the Salesforce CRM Connections community for more videos, user guides, and support.